What's up, North Glencoe? We hope that you're having a great week. We're in week number 12 of reading through the New Testament at when we're tackling the end of Ephesians and the first of Philippians. So as always when we read, there's three questions that we ask ourselves. What does this say about God? What does this say about man? And what does this say about our fellow man? Yeah. Uh, and so as we look at this passage in Ephesians, zeroing in on Ephesians chapter 4, in the end, Paul's talking about, uh, starting in verse 24, he starts talking about the new self and what it looks like to put away the old things as a non-believer and then put on the things of a new self as a new Christian or a new believer and kind of have to take on this new personality of, hey, I don't do the things that I did when I was a sinner or when I was when, when I was an unbeliever. And now that I'm a believer, now that I know Christ, I live differently. And that's important for us to see. And so what that says about God is it says, well, first it's important for us to make sure we know that God makes us new. That, that, that because of the salvation on the cross, because of what Jesus did for us, we're not the old person anymore. If we accept that gift of salvation, if we realize our need for a Savior, it, it says so much about God and what He does for us and what He and how He loves us because we're not the old person anymore. I think that's awesome and really encouraging for us to know. It's true. And also, you know, one thing that uh, I noticed in Scripture that it even said is that we can grieve the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. by living for ourselves and, you know, um, not living the way that God wants us to live. And, I, you know, that's something we don't want to do. We don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. We don't want to grieve God. We, we want to please Him. We want to, you know, uh, have our lives dedicated to Him. So Definitely. And as it moves on, we talk about what it looks like. Uh, when we look at these passages, what does it say about um, our fellow man? And so uh, I think it's in verse 25 it talks about how you put away some of these old things because together you're no longer the old self. And it emphasizes on that word together. You're not, and I think it says that it, it, to us that we're not alone in the fight. We're not alone. We have a church family. We have fellow believers, our small groups. Mm -hmm. um, we're not alone. We, we, we get to, uh, to do life together with other people. And that's one of the beauties of the church and beauties of the gospel is that we don't have to do it alone. First and foremost, we have uh, the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. We also, mm -hmm. we have other believers who can help us in that walk. True. And so lastly, uh, uh, what, is it, what do we take away from this? Um, following that passage in the end of Ephesians chapter 4, it gives us a lot of practical things to pull out of our life that were the old way. Um, lying, falsehoods, uh, anger, malice, bitterness, uh, things like that. And, and while those seem, may seem juvenile or even childish, I think just pulling out some of those things of uh, of not telling lies and being honest and, and living honestly and, and not holding anger or, and not getting having our lives being rooted in bitterness and then creating malice and slander and things like that. Just those few little adjustments that, again, may seem elementary or juvenile. I think those are a few uh, pretty pretty quick steps we can take as new believers when we go back to that, that theme of putting on the new self and putting on the new things that Christ has given us. It's true. And, and that's what you know God's Word's all about. It's, it's not telling us a bunch of rules and regulations. It, it's all about, hey, God's just showing us how to live a, a healthy lifestyle and, and being this new person in Christ, you know, this is how we're supposed to live. So Absolutely. I think that's, that's huge. So we hope that you enjoy your readings this week. Um, be sure to comment and share on our videos and right here on Facebook you can put a comment about what maybe what stood out to you during your readings this week because you know, everybody gets a little something different out of when they read so uh, we thank you guys for joining us this week and I hope you have a great week see you guys